Hey guys, so I'm here in my recording studio. It is completely empty right now. It's just a complete shell. So um, basically I had the idea after purchasing a more expensive microphone. The more expensive microphone you get, it captures everything and even echo. So good sound recorders actually on your phone, but the levels and everything aren't as accurate. So I want to give like really good high quality studio recording and then rent this place out in the future for people to do voiceovers and stuff. And getting an expensive microphone, it captures everything in the room, even the echo. So I can hear that. Um, doesn't make me happy. <laughs> As you know, I'm a bit of a, per a perfectionist with like audio and you know, I'm a sound healer. So I really want to give my best, you know, give guided meditations. So I looked online for the best uh, type of uh, tiles, but however, I have a budget. So I found that um, one inch tiles um, are a lot more cheaper, um, different type of material, um, but I got 288 of those, those thinner ones. They cost me, I don't know, about 67 pound for 96 of them. So times that by three, I have 288, but I only need 246. And then I have 96 uh, two inch tiles. So I've planned it all out here on this I can't see very well. I've um, done a design for each of the wall and the ceiling. And yeah, this empty space here, um, that was that was a window because I'm not gonna really use a window in here, um, but it's on Velcro. So if I ever need to open it, then I can just pull the tiles and the, the piece of card off. Um, so yeah, it's quite a small place, but I mean, I don't really want a huge large room for a recording studio. Um, and the idea is to do videos and everything in here. So, so far, I'm really happy with, you know, with the layout. And, um, yeah, I'm just going to go ahead with it and see what I can do. So, <laughs> I'll catch you soon of how it is after. Well, the tiles are expanding nicely. This is like 288 uh, one-inch tiles. They all came in that box. And 24 hours later, they expanded. So... I'm happy about that. So I've laid out my design on the floor first to make sure I'm happy. Mixture of one inch tiles and two inch tiles. The greyer ones are a lot more expensive, uh, hence why I'm trying to mix them. And as you know, art, if you mix things that look the same uh, always, then it's going to come out okay. So uh, this is the front. Uh, the left and the right will be very similar, as well as the back, but the ceiling will be a, a different pattern. So I've marked it all out. I've got exactly 96 tiles of uh, the two inch ones, which um, per box, um, the box is these. So there's 24 in each. I've got four boxes, which makes 24 uh, times four, which is 96. And then I have 288 of these black ones, which is the thinner ones. So it looks quite small on the floor, but that's the front of the wall. So I'm going to get on and see how this turns out. Well, there we go so far. That's half the ceiling done and the front wall. I think it looks really good. It's hard to see on the camera because... Um, it's uh, quite dark, um, which would be great for a dark room as well for, uh, I don't know, trance stuff from recordings um, and uh, the light fits perfectly in the middle. <laughs> um, yeah, so I'm just going to get on. So what I'm using at the moment is uh, this uh, spray adhesive um, and it doesn't, it's easy to apply. I mean, it, it sticks okay, but it also... Yeah, you can peel them off quite easily after, so it doesn't really damage the wall. I was going to use a lot of um, Velcro, um, but that would damage the wall and it won't stick very well. And because it's um, a bit of a a satin uh, paint, it's it can go the tiles can go up, but if you want to rip them down, it won't cause too much damage. So yeah, just got to do the rest of the room yet. Yeah. Should be done today, hopefully. Fingers crossed. Okay, done it. Done it all. Took me a few hours. <laughs> I've left above the uh, above the heater there, just because I'm gonna put a shelf in, just so these don't catch a light. Um, uh, carpet rugs are down. 
be good if I got something black to go with it, but at um, least it keeps a little bit more brighter. And uh, if I close the door, then um, there we go. It's a bit more, yeah, it's a bit more dead sound, like you can't really um, hear any echo now, which is great. No vibration. Um, it looks better in person. It just, obviously the, the light doesn't do very well in here. Um, but yeah, looking forward to, to using this more. And um, yeah, I've got to put a sheet above the door first and, and seal that off. But apart from that, yeah, we're good. I'm quite happy. So here I am back in the studio and I've got all the, all the lights on and everything so you can see what I've got. Uh, done a lot of research on this. It's probably hard to see because there's a lot of lights. Um, so I've done the door. Um, yeah, it's a bit dark in places because <laughs> a lot of the tiles are so dark. But I have 24 tiles here, which uh, make up, uh, protects the door. It's just on a sheet, which um, is sort of Velcroed to the top. Hence why it's, um, yeah, there we go. So it covers the complete door, so I don't get any echo this way. There are a few gaps in places, as you can see, but um, I try to, you know, make it go everywhere. The back there, the white is just a um, a white backdrop, the same as my green, which I use, but just makes things a little bit more lighter and a bit more bounce off, uh, off the light. So the lights I've got is I've done all my research, so for cost as well. So I have the uh, Godox SL60W, which is a, a soft light, can be controlled. It's like daylight light. I use it for photography and filming. This is my key light, I believe. And then I have these other side lights, um, these other soft boxes, um, which is the SSD. Um, they're not quite that popular, but they're just a very cheap option just to light up the, the background when I do green screen. Um, so I have those. And then I have up here, which is on a... Um, on a boom stand, which is, I don't actually know the net make of this, I think it's a newer. It's um, it's an RGB light, but at the moment I've got it on white light, which is, um, I think the key light, I think? Sorry, no, it's the the rim light, that's it. It's like, <clears throat> it's the one that goes above like the head. Um, you can sometimes have it behind. This is a field light here. This is a newer, this is an RGB, um, similar to the one up here, but I use this just to fill some other light in and have my stand for my camera and then this is another great um light um soft light which is much more portable and i have a a battery on it so it can just come on very easily very bright as you can see um this is a newer nl 200a uh, not too expensive and really worth the money i think it's like 120 pounds and uh, great investment um but i obviously prefer for the godox which is great and then I have the Rode NTG4 Plus, which uh, the cable goes all the way down into my Zoom H6. Uh, it's all on so you can see, ready for recording. Really amazing. XLR cable goes straight in here. Really great quality of sound. So that's everything I use for my audio. And what else to say? Um, I think that's it really. You know, 400 studio tiles. Um, here is just um, some storage. So some drawers with loads of like clamps and things that I use, um, bags, and yeah, that's everything. So it's, uh, yeah, that's my setup basically. So um, it's not a bad, bad studio. You know, the sound is much better. There's no echo. I like the darkness of like the, the black and the gray tiles. Um, the two inch uh, stick out a bit more obviously than the one inch. Uh, eventually update it at some point. But um, yeah, there we go. It's just gives a, you know, a much more studio feel. So I'm really happy, so. And check out this um, audio before and after. So listen to the audio before, which was, um, I did a voice recording with me clapping and, and, and listening. So here we go. This is an audio test of inside the recording studio without any tiles on. It's completely bare, bare walls, white walls. Yeah, it's an empty room. Clapping so you can hear. So. Okay, and this is a uh, clap test when the room is finished.
So there we go. It didn't take that very long to set up. It took like half a day, I guess, five hours to do the five or six hours, I think, to do all the um, tiles with breaks in between. Um, so I'm really happy with the, you know, the outcome. And it gives a bit more of a studio quality for sound as well, which I'm, you know, really aiming for. Um, yeah, some of the tiles are a little bit loose in places, but that's um, because I don't want to use really strong adhesive, just in case end up moving here from here and having to take them off so it doesn't leave too much damage from it and I only went through two cans of, of the stuff so the stuff I used was like spray adhesive here um, and it's, it says it's extra strong I mean it's okay it does the job but I think on a on a satin paint wall um, they're easy to take off it doesn't leave too much damage um, and taking the paint and the plaster off with it as well so they are sort of removable. Um, there were suggestions of using uh, Velcro, which would have been a lot more money and a lot time, more time consuming. And I wanted to do this as you know, fast as possible, but also good. And I'm happy the way it turned out. So yeah, thank you for watching. Um, yeah, I'll keep you updated with stuff and check out my new videos um, soon. <laughs> I'll say I've been very busy recently with lots of projects and work. Um, so yeah. Just uh, been updating my studio, which I'm really happy about. So yeah, um, the floor you might have noticed the floor is just it's uh, not the best uh, rugs, <laughs> but at least it helps um, with the reflection of sound, so there's no bounce, and it's just a bit bigger than the room itself, so it just overlaps the the wall a bit like a curve. If you notice that on the floor, so. There we go. That's my studio. Thanks for watching. And um, yeah, if you think about cost effective and think, you know, all the tiles are expensive, just mix them up and and do a, you know, a sketch, I guess. I use, I use that on paint program. Just got like a 10 by 10 um, square uh, grid online and then just filled in the boxes and made a pattern because like, I didn't want to do it randomly. I wanted to give a pattern to it. But now that's up, you can't really see much of it. Um, but yeah, at least it looks like, you know, Quite professional and yeah i'm quite happy so yeah anyway speak soon and yeah check out my new videos should have better sound now so thank you take care